Living Light Cancer, welcome to the channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading. I've already pulled some cards from one deck and then I stopped there because the energy was like, it was a little bit of everything, right? It was a little bit of good and then a lot, well, a little bit of bad, but emo it's emotional. That I don't even know if I would really say it's bad collective, right? But this is definitely a divine connection that I see this is like involving a divine masculine and divine feminine because the divine feminine card came out. So you could be dealing with a twin flame or a soulmate. Some of you guys are dealing with one or the other. That's okay. It doesn't matter. You know what your situation is here, but I feel like there's a very loving connection between you and your person. Like, the two of you actually think the world of each other, whether you know it or not. Like, the energy that's coming up here, let, I, I'm just gonna, well, I would say y'all want me to start with the good or the bad, but the bad really isn't good. Because the, what you would consider to be bad or negative is, I feel like, the things that you don't want to address, right? You know, the things that people try to suppress and they don't want to feel their emotion, it feels like there was an argument or conflict between the two of you, you and your person. I feel like the Divine Feminine, if you resonate as a Divine Feminine, it was it has always been very loving and kind and caring to their masculine in this connection, right? If you resonate as a Divine Feminine here, you've always been real kind, caring, sweet, nurturing partner. But when you got sick of your person's shit, I really feel like you set up some healthy boundaries or you you cut some cords, whatever it is that you said or did collective to your person. They really took it of like they were really offended and surprised that you said what you said or you did with you what you did, which tells me in this reading, they must have really pissed you off. <laughs> like this person must have really pissed you off and like I feel like collective you really did if you resonate as the divine feminine you really did what you had to do you like really had to put your foot down this person said your words cut them very deep and you you hurt them like you they your masculine feels like you what you said and what you did really hurt them and they're tired of arguing Somebody here also was left on red, okay? Somebody saw somebody's text messages, but they're not responding. They're not talking. They don't have anything else to say. I don't know. But the thing is, all this great energy is here. Your person thinks you're very, uh, such a great listener. You make them happier than anybody else. I feel like you wanted to give this person the world. You thought the world of this person and your person actually thought the world of you. Like, and whether you know it or not, also too collective, like your person actually wants to take things to the next level or to the next stage. And look at this. Look, this is divine masculine is showing up here in reverse. So this person showed up just to have sex with you. So there's the divine masculine energy. Divine feminine energy is out here. So your person may have, maybe you cut them off or said what you said because you felt like you were you being used or you felt like there was not an equal give and take here. Show me, show me what else here in this connection. You see what I'm saying? No one compares to you. I want to hold you again. There is a very strong emotional bond and attachment between you and this person. Like a very strong emotion. I mean, a very small, strong emotional bond. Somebody wants to, for some of y'all, this person wants to move in together or get married. Yep, look at what just flipped over. Power couple. This person feels like the two of you can like do great things together. You could build and grow together. Like literally this person says, I'm ready for the next step. Let's grow together. And then what just flipped over in my hand was let's move in together. Have you guys been thinking of your person quite a bit here lately? Because your person has been thinking about you quite a bit lately. And they, and they feel weird. Like 
maybe this person is not as like um, aware as you or not as spiritual as you. For some of you all, your person is just not as spiritual, right? Um, they're feeling you and thinking about you in the uh, 5D though. And they want to know if you're feeling that same energy. So the cord is actually still connected here. The cord is still connected between the two of you. Yeah, look at this. This person wants to say, please forgive me. So this is that energy of like the divine, the divine masculine wants you to forgive them for, for some of y'all being a player, for not giving you what you deserved, for wanting to have their cake and eat it too, or how whatever way your person showed up, I definitely feel like it's definitely the energy of like they didn't give you what you deserve or what you did, you needed for them it was just sex but they fell in love with you and they didn't mean to do it see and that came out again as i'm talking as i'm talking i'm just here for sex and a good time this person got with you collective and they were like oh i just want to have a good time and well you know when they say when you fuck around and you find out i feel like your person fucked around and they found out and then you were like, oh, no, this is not going to work for me. You're not going to be able to handle me this way because I know what I deserve. And so you may have said something to this person and there could have been an argument of some sort or whatever that was. You see this energy. I'm tired of arguing. Yeah. Do you still think about me, too? You see what I'm saying? Remember I said earlier, like, this per your person is like... Feeling you in the three five in the five D telepathic energy. For some of y'all, they might be dreaming about you here. <laughs> you said no, I don't think about you. Some of y'all say no, I don't think about them at all. <laughs> Listen, that's okay if that's how you feel, because some of y'all are not responding to this person's text messages or phone calls. You're leaving this person on red. You're not responding, and they see that, and this person is hurt they are very hurt by this shit i think about you when i'm with them oh they got somebody else look at this look at look at it look at it. they got somebody else collective and you know that that's maybe why that's the two of you were arguing cancer pisces scorpio energy here show me what else don't let me go. Your person said, please don't let me go. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you this. But see, this person is a sneaky liar, cheater, manipulator. Like, maybe this person is the one who said something too hurtful to you. Energies and roles can be reversed. I wish I could take the things back that I said. Somebody said something here. I don't. Someone in this connection is having some self-love, like, issues. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. This person secretly hid who they really were, or they hid the whole truth, or they hid a third party from you. This person is super duper, look at this, somebody's just running away. They want to go, Some for some of y'all, they ran away, and... They were scared of commitment. They didn't want to be tied down. You know, they wanted to just, when they met you, they thought they were just really honestly collective having fun. And then, like I said, they fucked around and they found out. They fell in love with you. Romantic. I feel like you guys wanted something romantic, deep, emotional, tender. And what you got was the exact opposite. Because this romantic card is here. I feel like you wanted something romantic. You wanted to be courted. You wanted to be with somebody you saw a future with and you saw a future in this person. I feel like you saw this person's potential. You know how I think Steve Harvey used to say like, don't fall in love with somebody's potential, like fall in love with the person that they are today. And you may have just fallen in love with the potential. And if this person's your twin or your soulmate, like it's difficult. Like you just love the person for who they are even though you know this person doesn't even fully see their full potential. That's so sad. Let's see what else here. So let me tell you this. Your person is, they. this person just can't make up their mind. They're really comfortable, you guys, with playing the field. So I want you to know that. Because they felt like they had to go back to this other person or be with this other person or they couldn't commit. 
um, or be in a monogamous relationship or, you know, um, something stable because they felt like there was too much out there in the world for them to conquer and experience. And they didn't want to miss out. Hmm. Show me more here. Yeah, I'm telling you, there's a lot of emotional energy here. I feel like you fell in love with this person really fast. I feel like this happened very, very fast here. And honestly, I'm going to be real with y'all because I kind of feel feel like there's a shared, I feel like this is a shared emotion. I feel like on both sides, the both of you share these emotions for each other. I mean, aside from, you know, just having fun and it's just sex. And I really feel like, yeah, that's what your person really thought it was going to be. But, and they didn't were looking for more. But the, deep down inside, this person is insecure. And this person needs constant support. They needed constant emotional support. And I don't even know if this person really realized. I don't know if they realize how self-destructive their behavior is, to be quite honest. It doesn't look like that they do. Hmm. I feel like the two of you used to have conversations collective about your past relationships. Like somebody here used to have a conversation and, you know, pillow talk, right? You used to talk about your ex or something. Somebody here talked about their ex and how their ex didn't do X, Y, and Z or how their ex treated them. And they were like, oh, I would never treat you that way. And then I feel like low key, they turned around and they did it. But the way that they did it was real covert. It was covert as shit. Show me more. Ah! All right, screw say No, don't pick that deck up. I just dropped it. <sighs> I just dropped that and that deck and another deck fell over. And look at what came out when I felt when this other deck fell over. Me and my person argue over you. I don't know. All right, let's see what's going on. Show me here how this Divine Masculine is feeling. How's the Divine Masculine currently? Ooh, I just saw. The Fool card. Death energy. They feel like it's over. They, for some of you all, if this person doesn't feel like it's over, they feel like in order to be with you, they're going to have to be some changes. They can't come back. Yeah, they love you. King of Cups. Your person could be a water sign here. They feel like you're very guarded and defensive. Look at that. King of Cups, Death card. They know they're going to have to change. A lot of emotion, I'm telling you, that's shared between you and your person. Show me more about how this Divine Masculine is feeling. Yeah. Nine of Swords in the Chariot card. And there goes that uh, Fool card again. I'm telling you, they do want to take a leap of faith and a risk. Uh, they want to jump off the cliff and be with you. They do. I don't know how the hell they're going to jump off a cliff and be with you if they got somebody else over there with. So just be careful with that, okay? Because I, I, the energy is still showing up as them still being with somebody else and they're arguing. And they... Um, the energy is coming out. This person knows how you make they knows how you made them feel, but it's giving me the energy of but but there's a but. You know what I mean? Like because they still have this third party. I don't see energy coming out that they're gonna leave this third party. I see energy them coming out saying they want to come out of this anxiety and this fear with this nine of swords. They can't sleep at night. I, you know, y'all remember that song? I can't. Oh, that's is that R. Kelly? Ooh, sorry. I think it's R. Kelly. I can't sleep, babe. Without you in my life, I can't go on, babe. This is my soul, babe. I don't want to do nothing with you. Not around. I think it goes like that. It's old, y'all. That's old. I know I can't sing. I don't care. Okay. That's the energy he's given, though. The nine of swords with the chariot card. It's like somebody is like stressed, pressed, having anxiety. 
This person does not know what to do. They want to overcome these obstacles in this chariot energy. This person wants to have the willpower and the strength to overcome and then rush in and like have this new beginning. Full card. They could be an Aries. You could be an Aries or an Aquarius. But like... Why be stressed out? Like, you could still come out of this energy. If you can still choose, you can still choose. Everybody has a choice, right? Free will. So, this is just telling me, like, they're still wrapped up in something else. <sighs> Clarify this chariot, please. Why is the chariot here? Thank you. The Ace of Cups, like I said. <laughs> They want to reconcile. They want to start over. They do. But they know that if they come towards you, they are going to have to change. And I don't I don't know if this person's ready for that because it's stressing them. It's stressing them out. They're stressed out at the thought of them having to man up. Hmm. They want to make something right with you. You could be dealing with a Libra or you could be a Libra. All right, so show me this person's... Why is this person stressed out? Yeah. Why is this person so stressed out about changing? Because they're toxic. They know they have toxic ways. This could not be, like, more clear. The devil energy. Cap they could be a Capricorn. This person knows they're toxic. They know they're flighty. Some of you, they're not really reliable or dependable. They are rushing in and out. Have a lot of passion. You know, Knight of Swords is on the bottom of the day. <laughs> mm, that's why they stressed out. I'm so sorry. It's just clear. I don't. All right. Show me more here. So what are this person's next move towards my collective? What is this person's next move? They're walking away. I don't know. Eight of Cups. What is this person's next move? When it comes to my collective. They're moving away and going somewhere else. So who they're leaving. Eight of Cups and the Six of Swords. This person is actually leaving somewhere. That's not emotionally fulfilling. And not, they're leaving an unhappy situation. Packing up some shit. Leaving something behind. And trying to do what they can to move towards some peace. And happiness. Show me more about this. And there goes that justice card that I saw earlier. Libra energy. So they do want to come in and try to bring bring some balance back into the situation. Do what's right. Yeah, four of cups. They're scared you're going to reject them. This person, I feel like, is going through a lot of drama over their behavior. Ace of Wands at the bottom of the day. Look at all this drama. You may not know all the conflict and the drama this person is going through. Right now, your person is definitely tired of arguing with somebody. And they clearly, two cards are out here. They're arguing with somebody. For some of you, this was an argument between you and your person. For some of y'all, this was them and their person. <laughs> Sorry, I'm burping. Show me more about this. The high priestess, Pisces energy. Somebody is being, being led by their, uh, led by their, yeah, they're being led by their intuition to take some form of action. But I still feel like they're thinking about it quite a bit. They're still going back and forth, back and forth, this two of pinnacles energy. Like they're still weighing their options, you know, Look at that. But they're thinking about this connection. The hermit with the two of cups. They are thinking about this connection. There's a lot of emotional energy here. Like a lot of emotional energy. I don't know. Maybe this person is walking away from this devil energy here. I do feel like your person withdrawn. Single, lonely, solitary. I feel like you guys are withdrawn from the situation. You don't have anything to say to this person. You withdrew from them because you feel like they weren't loyal. They weren't reliable, like I said. 
they you didn't believe anything that they said you didn't trust them so you're like well shit i'd rather be single and alone than to deal with some foolishness like this so let me just be in my solitary confinement not even it's, it doesn't even feel like confinement here like it's it's not a punishment for you it's a choice it was a choice for you collective that's what i feel like this person's so flipping emotional this person is about to pursue you chase you because they're so like they're realizing how happy they like you make them or like the they're realizing the value that you bring to them to their life and how important you were in their life so who is the runner and the chaser here hmm i definitely feel like this person is about to chase you show me more because they're so emotional it's like yeah they're stressed out can't make this up turbulence tension arguments there's so many arguments going on in this person's life so much conflict that i feel like you guys just don't know you're not aware of it i feel like this person is see, starting to see somebody for what see this other third party for who they are they're seeing the truth about this person because this other person is really bitter somebody here is bitter and very very angry i think this third party I think this third party can sense that your person misses you or loves you or whatever it is. You know what I mean? They know that their person is not there. They're there, but they're not there. Um, hmm. And this person is really angry. Somebody really says some low down dirty shit. So either you did, your person did, somebody said something that was really, really spiteful and hurtful. Divine Feminine, was that you? Because as soon as I was saying that, the Divine Feminine energy popped out. Or they may have said something real nasty and mean-hearted about the Divine Feminine. Let me see. Hmm. Show me more here. concealing there is something being concealed here somebody tried to hide something i feel like somebody here you know how they say who they hide you know how somebody throws a rock and they hide their hand i feel like that's what this is doing like if somebody's gossiping about you divine feminine i feel like they throw the rock and they hide their hand but I also feel like to some degree your your masculine also chose this third party because they were still chasing thrills. They were still chasing excitement. They were still chasing, like I said earlier, the Ace of Wands energy. And they know now that they made a mistake. Bottom of the day, misunderstood, victim, lost soul, mistakes. So now this person is left thinking about you missing you craving you and desiring you so much they're left with thinking about this awful like how they're in this basically this really awful situation this person's yeah influence attachments third parties peers illusions unbalanced distorted i think this person allowed other people to to sway or influence their behavior or their decision when it came to when it came down to the connection between you and your person right they're, they could have had people in their ear saying, you know, you know, need that person. You're better off without them. You know, the divine feminine, this, that. I feel like some things were said. This person, somebody said some stuff. They they threw the rock and they, they then they hit the hand and they acted like, oh, who did it? It wasn't me. I don't know. Did you see who did it? It just feels like that. Um, yeah. So what can the divine feminine expect here what's the outcome or what can the divine feminine expect healing you can expect healing be patient you can expect something being brought back into balance sagittarius energy with temperance show me more about this judgment judgment energy so that is like you reflecting evaluating the role that you played in this, the lessons that you learned, the things that you want to change, 
the things that you want in the future, the things that you no longer want. You're thinking about the past, though. You really are thinking about the past. This could be this connection could have also allowed you to face the fact for some of you is you learn how to set boundaries. For some of you, it was it brought up old memories from your childhood or memories of your parents. Yeah, show me more here on what the Divine Feminine can expect. What's the outcome? Look at that, the lovers. Wow. You think about this person a lot. I feel like... Hmm, okay. Hold on. Show me more on the lovers. Are you going to have a choice? I feel like you're going to have a choice. Hold on. Show me more on the lovers. You're single right now, but not for long, I feel like. Some of you all are deciding to stay single. But you're waiting for something. Seven of Pentacles. Six of Wands is here with the Nine of Cups. It's like you're you're getting victory. Victory is like yours. You know what I mean? You're getting a wish fulfillment. You're getting clarity. I feel like you guys got clarity that it's time for you to just, you know what, I'm going to be single. That's what I need to do. That's the best thing for me right now. We got the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles here too. So 99 could be something significant for you. Six, six is here with the lovers and the Six of Cups. No, six, six, six is here. Six of Wands, Six of Cups, and the lovers. Some of y'all may be seeing those numbers. And the Four of Wands. Huh. So even if you're single right now, right, you're going to be stable. You're going to be happy surrounding yourself with family members and friends that you really love. Some of you guys are moving, getting a new home, having a great time, enjoying your life. I'm living my best life. I ain't going back and forth with you ever. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm getting here. You see these tambourines. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Okay? I'm just saying. But the four of wands can also be is stability, right? You're healing. You're like, at some point, you're going to get reach this stability. See, the thing is, you have the stability within you. You have the ability to give yourself that stability, which is great. That's what I feel like you're realizing here. Um, also can also mean reuniting four of wands and the lovers is here and the six of cups i'm just saying those are twin flame soulmate cards those are also cards of reuniting hmm coming into union yeah the hermit You guys are manifesting something. You're like, you're manifesting a new something very new. Your emperor. Ha <laughs> ha, the bottom of the deck. This is so funny. This is what came out. You're manifesting something. Gemini energy with the ace of pentacles. You've been sitting back in hermit mode, single, chilling. Okay, this is what you know you want. And then I said, oh, you're manifesting. Bottom of the deck. There goes your divine masculine. <laughs> He took a long time, I feel like, with this uh, Knight of Pentacles, though. They've been watching you, though, Page of Swords. They're going to watch you the whole time, and I think you know that. Somehow, some way, they, they have access to you. Anyway, so Zodiac signs we saw were Sag, Capricorn, Scorpio, Gemini, Virgo. What else? What? Cancer. As far as major, oh, and Libra too for major arcana cards, okay? That's what we saw come out. But I mean, your person could be any, you know, any zodiac sign. Remember that. So, oh, and Pisces was here with the high priestess. I forgot about that. So I love you guys. You know, you make your own choice. You have free will. It is what it is. You know, it looks like you're going to do what's best for you. You're already doing that. Congratulations. You know, Congratulations for you starts learning and setting boundaries with someone because it looks like this person needed that. It's almost like if you were going to continue to put up with it, this person just would have continued to do what you allowed them to do. And that's just, let's keep it a hundred. You know, they definitely would have continued to do that. You know, so 
anyway, I love y'all so much. Um, be blessed. Hit the like button on your way out and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Okay? Bye.